Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to mess around with my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to attempt to upgrade the custom firmware to the latest 17.0.0. Okay, so yeah, let's just get started. All right, let's go to the system and check out my Switch. It's currently on 16.1.0 and I'm using Atmosphere 1.5.5 and E stands for it's on the emulation layer. Okay, so I'm going to update this. So how do I normally do it? I normally go and use FTP to transfer the files. Okay, so now I've got the FTP started. Okay, let's remember this. Uh, 192.168.1.194. Okay, so let's switch over to my PC. So, all right, let's go to my PC. I'm going to open the FTP program FileZilla. FileZilla and then one... 92.168.1.194 45,000 connect okay so this is my switch this is the sd card of my switch so first i'm going to update the firmware so i need to get uh, i'm going to delete the old firmware files these are the old installation files for the old firmware and i've already downloaded firmware 17.0.0 .0 here it's on my pc I'm going to drag it over. Okay, and that's okay. It's doing it's doing uh, two files at a time. So let's make it faster. Let's do let's do ten ten files at a time. Yeah, that makes it faster. All right, and also I've got the latest atmosphere. So atmosphere one point six point two. So I've got to copy this over too. So I'm going to upgrade my atmosphere because the old atmosphere doesn't support the latest firmware. So make sure you also do that. And I also downloaded the signature patches for atmosphere just in case because I, I've got a program on my Switch that does the signature patches update itself. So I'm going to test that out. If that doesn't work, then I've got a backup. I could use the PC version and I'll transfer the files over. All right, so okay, the firmware is still transferring. It's a bit slow, even for 10 files at a time. Is it doing 10 files? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. So the firmware files should be transferred over. Okay, now I'm going to transfer over the atmosphere. So I'm going to overwrite everything. So always use this action. Let's go overwrite everything. Okay, that should be done. That should be done. Okay. Now, let's go back to our switch. Okay, let's get out of this. Get out of this and then go to album. And then we're going to use Daybreak. Okay, so Daybreak is the program to install the firmware so i'm going to do my firmware folder now it's checking the files to make sure it's okay and then we should be able to update okay so continue i'm going to preserve the settings install to fat32 plus xfat ready to begin update installation okay okay so now we're updating our custom firmware to the latest firmware 17.0.0 .0. so i don't really think you need to do this because currently i don't think there's any games that require the latest firmware but uh yeah i'm just messing around and also showing you guys how i normally do it so let's wait for it to update it's gonna take a bit So if you enjoyed this video so far, please like, like the video, it really helps out, gets the YouTube algorithm kicked in and more people can see this video. All right, so yeah, we're almost done. Okay, now it's applying the update. So that 100% complete was preparing, update preparation complete. Okay, now it's updating. All right. 
Don't panic. It looks like it's not doing anything, but it is. I'm kind of panicking a bit now. I hate it when like it just stops and nothing's moving. All right, now it's done. Okay, reboot. Okay. Oops. Oh, I guess the new. Okay, so here's my. Here's my Nintendo Switch, and it says uh, a fatal error. I think it's because I'm using the old um, Fusey dot bin. All right, so I've downloaded the latest one. So I'm gonna press power to reboot. Okay, I don't think it works. So I'm going to on my. Let's go back to my PC. Let's go back to the PC. I'm going to open this program, the Tegra RCM program, and I'm going to use the latest one, which is this one. Okay. And let's plug in the unable to identify package. Press power to. Okay, I'm going to hard reset it first. I think it's like messing up. Look, see that? It's flashing. Okay, I'm gonna hard reset it and try to use the latest Fusey. The one that supports 17.0.0. Okay, so is that I'm holding the power button to hard reset it. Normally it takes like 15 seconds, I think. 12 to 15 seconds. I think I've done it long enough. Okay, so now I've hard reset my Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna press the power button on. And we should be able to see RCM OK. Yeah, see here, it changed to RCM OK. It detected my Nintendo Switch in RCM mode. And I'm going to inject the latest Fusey. So it supports 17.0.0. All right. And you can see, yeah, atmosphere is booting up. So before, when I upgraded my, um, my custom firmware to 17.0.0, it needed to restart. And... When it restart, because I didn't have the latest Fusey, it couldn't boot up. So that's why I had to reset my Nintendo Switch and then boot it again to inject the latest Fusey. All right, so now it's now it's uh, booted up. All right, I'm going to plug it back into the dock so we can see it on the dock. Okay, wait for it to... Okay, let's... Wait for the capture card. Let me connect my Pro Controller at the same time. Okay. So now let's take a look. So system. All right. You can see now we're on 17.0.0 um, .0 and the AMS. So the atmosphere is on 16 point, uh, sorry, 1.6.2 and still on the emulation layer. And if we boot up a game, all right, let's see. We don't have the signature patches yet, so let's see if it works. Might not work because I don't have the signature patches. All right, but this one works. This one works. Okay, let's see Mario Wonder. Oh, this one works too. All right. Is it because I already probably I because before recording I did go and let me see tinfoil. I did go into the signature patch updating and I updated it like on the lower firmware. Maybe it just updates the signature patches anyway. Yeah. So I think everything looks fine now. All right. Yeah, I think everything's fine. Tinfoil is working as well. So it's trying to connect to my uh, notebook. The razor blade, but yeah, okay. No, all right, so everything looks fine. Um, so what I was talking about, I was talking about this. I've got this um, SIG patch updater. I'll leave a link in the description if you want this. So I did, I like you just select it and you press 
A to select the option. So I updated this on the lower firmware. I thought it would like it was like I thought it would like recognize my lower firmware and use the lower firmware sig patches. I guess when there's new signature patches, it just updates. So that's why um, my games work. So if you update it to 17.0.0 and your games don't work, you need to update your signature patches. And I've got a program to do that. Uh, you can do it manually. You could download the zip file and update it uh, to your SD card manually, or you could use this sig patch updater. All right. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get this. And if you want to get this as well, FTP. D. This is a very nice program. So you don't have to like always take out your SD card and plug it into the computer to transfer files. I just use FTP. All right. So yeah. So I guess I'm done. I guess I'm done. Let's double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything's good. Yeah. So current system version 17.0.0 .0 and the atmosphere is on six, uh, 1.6.2 on the emulation layer. All right, so hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.